Hi, Cheryl Luck here for HuntBlogTips.com. And in this tutorial, I'm using PowerDirector, and I'm going to show you how to make a title card so you can put a watermark or a logo on each and every one of your videos that you can reuse over and over. I have my video here, and what I'm going to do is go over on the left to the T to the Title Room. Here you can see I've made lots of titles. We're going to make a new one. Up here, the little piece of paper with the plus sign, click 2D Title. This will open up a new little window, and it always says my title. Simply right-click and cut. Now we have a transparent title card all fresh. To get our logo or watermark that we've already made, we're going to go Insert Images. Here you can find wherever you keep all your images. Here I have a watermark that I could use. I use it on images, but you won't be able to see it in this video very well, so let's go with the logo. Now don't worry about the size, that's not going to be a problem. You can grab it, drop it, and drag it anywhere you want. You can also go to the corners and you can stretch it out. You could make it as big as you want. You could put it anywhere you want. If you don't want it to be going across, you can go to the little green dot and simply rotate it. Then move it where you want. Of course, that's not probably a very good spot for your watermark, but let's put it down here. We're going to take and make it small like I would a real watermark, and I normally keep them down over in a corner. Now, once I've done this, I simply click Save, and you'll want to title it something. Don't pay attention to my title, and click OK. Now, in our title room, we'll always have this here. As long as you don't intentionally delete it, it'll be here. We're going to grab it and drag it down. You can put it in a video track or a title track. It comes out at 10 seconds. If you want it through your entire video, simply click and drag that side all the way to the end. Now, as it goes, when we start watching our video, we should be able to see that we have our watermark logo over here where it is on the title card. If we don't like it there, we don't have to make a new card. We don't have to change the old card. We simply click, make that title green, go up to modify. Once you're in modify, you're going to get your editing window back up. And we can move it, turn it, size it, whatever you'd like to do, just like you could when you originally made it. With this, you're not changing the original. You're just changing the one for this particular track. So go ahead, once you have it where you want, and I've left it really big, please don't do that. And I'll click Save. Now, you may want to go through your video and kind of watch and see if it's going to be in the way. If it is, you can simply go down and edit it again. Now, for any reason you decide you don't want the logo watermark through your entire video, not a problem. Click and move that puppy where you want it. Maybe you don't want it at the beginning. Drag it, drag it over wherever you want it. If you decide that you did want it at the beginning and at the end, not a problem. Go up, grab your title card again, bring it down, and you'll be able to place it at the end. Now keep in mind if you do this, it's going to be the original with it down in the corner. Let me see if I can show it to you. We have it up where we edited and we have the original here. So if you want it back up in the corner, you simply click it, click modify, and modify it again. So this way, no matter where your video is watched online, you've got your logo or your watermark so people can know exactly who owns the video that they're watching. It helps with branding and it kind of helps sometimes with people stealing your videos. So thanks for watching, and we hope this has helped all of our PowerDirector users. Please subscribe to Hot Blog Tips on YouTube. And if you want to make a watermark and you don't know how yet, we do have a paint.net tutorial for that, so check it out. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.